Protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What of Fringilla? That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. I forgot to tell you about this. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come, they're all waiting for us. How are you feeling? Better. I thank you. If you'd not arrived in time, things might have ended considerably worse. I am your debtor. Thank Yennefer. It was her idea, her plan. I thought Margarita Loantil would be among the last to get nabbed by witch hunters. Were it dependent solely on me, of course I would. But you forget I had my students to consider. I knew the hunters would eventually reach Aratusa. It was but a matter of time. So when I heard Triss was organizing escapes to Kavir, I saw no reason to hesitate. I gathered my novices and we rode here to Novigrad. Sadly, we were caught and thrown in Deira before I could contact Triss. Didn't see any other sorceresses in there with you? Because they'd already been executed. But alive, one after the other. The most talented girls in the North. Radovid was saving me for last. If you're here, what's become of Eratusa? The day I arrived in Novigrad, I received a message from Viruta Ikati. A short, curt note. School overrun by Redanians. The libraries burn. Handful of pupils fled with Nina Vivera. The rest are dead. It is over. Later I learned priests of the Eternal Fire stood amidst the Academy's ruins. Promising the rabble that such a punishment awaited all mages and traitors. Farewell, Rita. Well, what is it? No need to thank me, Philippa. Always glad to save your ass. You're welcome. You stood to gain. That is why you saved me. Way back when, did you really send assassins after Dijkstra? You believe I... I do not remember we were once lovers. Maybe it's just me, but I think you'd consider that in itself to be reason enough. Actually, I've long wondered why you parted, quarreled even. <sighs> you see, Geralt, there are those who keep politics separate from their private lives, and those who do not. Which one was Dijkstra? The more boring of the two. Farewell. Yes, Geralt? Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Feel all right? Hmm, so so. Why do you ask? Been wondering. How's your hand? Your fingers? They'll heal. Listen, it was my idea. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. Hmm. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. You, uh... Holding up all right? Uh, it'll be a hard slog for everyone. 
You know what I mean. What am I supposed to say? I mean, I knew you and Yennefer. We'd end up back together. It was a lost cause. Always. I guess so. I just don't want you to... Can we not dwell on it? I need to focus on other things now. Right. Understood. So long, Triss. Geralt? Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, oh, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. What did Aridin want from you, exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with them. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Aridin believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later, and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened, and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did. And if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me, after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Still can't get something out of my mind. What? So, feel any different after our encounter with the Djinn? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that? That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. Thanks, Yan. See you later. Got a minute? Of course. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. Hmm. <laughs> Freedom. Always had a taste for it. I still do. So why'd you return? <laughs> It was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. Traveling between worlds, what's it like? It's... nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalark claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it, yet can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever I please, whenever I please. So, need your advice about Yennefer. Very well. Ask away. The thing is, I'd like to take her somewhere once it's over. Someplace picturesque, beautiful even, where we can rest. You've been almost everywhere. 
Also know Yen well. Any ideas? I was thinking Spala, or maybe Dolblathana. The first roadside inn you pass, take her there. Pay for a month in advance, carve do not disturb into the room door, and shut it behind you. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it, at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. I should go. All right, we'll talk later. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. 